Hi Aries, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel, Yance's Universe. Welcome new viewers and subscribers. So disclaimer y'all, this is a general reading. Also disclaimer, I don't got my glasses on so I cannot see. So if, if you see me squinting, mind your business, okay? Mind your business, all right? <laughs> and no, I don't feel like putting my contacts on, my eyes hurt, shit. You stand in front of a camera with the damn ring light all day. Mm? Okay. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, and or any cross watcher. This is going to be your general reading for August, August 2021. Let's see what's going on for you. Flip the rose and reverse them. It may be happening to you, happening to your person. It could be happening for anyone around you, anyone you're thinking about, or anyone thinking about you, okay? Please flip the rose and reverse them. If it doesn't resonate, um, it's probably not for you. Could have already happened. Could be happening now. Could happen in the future. Follow me on all my social media. Leave your girl a love donation on Cash App to grow the channel or just because my birthday was August 8th. All right. And let's see. Follow me on my social media. I'm open for personal readings. Like, share, subscribe. Let's jump into it. Thank you, ancestors and guides of love, light, health, and wealth. Please take me to the white light of protection as I go within the tarot and show me clear on this message for Aries. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. What's going on for Aries? Okay. Adjacent possibilities, Aries. So I'm seeing a lot of possibilities and a lot of options for you. Okay. A lot of possibilities and a lot of options because you're getting ready to go on a journey. You went on a spiritual journey and things have opened up for you. I do not. I do not like Sweetie. <laughs> y'all probably like. Y'all probably like Sweetie. Is this that my best friend song? Yeah, y'all. You and your best friend going out this weekend. But I see a lot of adjacent of poss adjacent possibilities for you, Aries. If you ever felt stuck or if you felt like you weren't moving, nothing was going anywhere, trust me, with these possibilities, these doorways are opening up for you. Use your intuition, okay? Use your intuition on this journey. I feel I feel your energy, Aries, Pisces energy. This journey card reminds me of the fool, all right? Be patient. Be patient. I know Spirit specifically did this, specifically put you on hold. Just hold on. Okay, just wait a minute. They put, they just said, time out, time out, Aries. All right, I feel like they were um, getting all of these things ready and prepared and orchestrated for you. All right, what do your angels have to say about this? Reconsider and trust. Okay, reconsider. All right, if you felt, because I feel like things, since things weren't moving, you, I feel like, spirit specifically put you put your back up against the wall okay and i feel like you were trying to think of so many things on what to do where to go and some things that you were going to do that you probably didn't even want to do and they were like hold on reconsider but they put your back up against the wall so you can really analyze and see where to move forward where to take this journey be patient because they're they're pressing you Okay, they're pressing you because there are some things you need to heal from. They're pressing you. There are some people you need to release. They're pressing you because there's some ways of thinking that you need to change, okay? All right? Be patient. The door is going to open up soon. Adjacent possibilities, okay? So reconsider your options. Reconsider these possibilities, all right? And trust. Trust. Trust your angels. Trust spirit. This is what's going on for you. Okay. Okay, what's going on for Aries? Show me what's going on in their love life, career, finance, family life, please. Oh, blossoming abundance and man holding a heart. Oh, shit. So, I'm seeing a water sign coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Water sign, fire sign. Show me what's going on with Aries in August, please. August 2021. Okay, four of pentacles. All right, an earth sign. See these adjacent possibilities. You, you were, I feel like you were, you felt like you were stuck. You didn't know where to go. You didn't see your way forward. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. The Devil card. Yep. 
This is you. This is you, Aries. This is you letting those negative thoughts get the best of you. This is you. I feel like this, you, I feel like with the four of pentacles, you're doubting, you're doubting. You're like, I need to save. I need to save. I don't have enough. I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough to do that. I don't have enough time. The four of pentacles is a miser thinking that you don't have enough when you do. Okay. The devil card is doubt. Okay. What else is going on for Aries? Clarify the devil card. The sun and the hair fence. You got to stop doubting. Stop doubting. Okay? The four of pentacles, there's some things you don't even want to release. There's some things you don't want to let go of. There's some things you're not admitting to. Four of pentacles. I'm just going to pretend. I'm just going to pretend like nothing's wrong with me. I'm just going to pretend that I don't have a bunch of baggage I'm holding on to. I'm just going to keep it close to my heart. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to it so tight. What well, this is saying, Aries, for August, you need to learn how to release or you need to learn how to let go. How are you going to go on this journey carrying all that baggage? Look, baggage. How you gonna go on this journey carrying all this baggage? Aries, Aries, Aries. You gotta be more patient with yourself too. I feel like you're being you're impatient. You want things to go the way you want them to go, when you want them to go, and spirit is like, be patient reconsider hold on wait be patient i got more options for you okay i see a leo or a gemini or virgo or capricorn coming towards you i see some something happening a release spiritual ascension there's some blockages or there's some people like i said people places situations that you need to just let go of and release four pinnacles you're not trying to let them go you need to let things go aries what does aries need to let go of hurt and pain and doubt being impatient what does aries need to let go of the hangman let go of doubt. The hangman is doubt. I don't trust it. I'm gonna stay where I'm at. I'm gonna stay where I'm at. It's comfortable where I am. Aries, you don't you don't want to do something risky. Clarify the hangman for or you need to let go of a Pisces. Clarify the hangman. Ten of Cups. You gotta let go of what you think has been making you happy because it hasn't been making you happy. If it made you happy, it wouldn't keep you stuck like this. Okay, you're stuck. You got this false sense of happiness. It could be family, okay? Your family's keeping you stuck. This person's keeping you stuck. This job is keeping you stuck. Some sense of fulfillment and happiness or whatever. This Pisces, I don't know, could be keeping you stuck. Sorry, y'all, excuse me. Something in my eye, sorry. Okay, I see man holding a heart. It could be a Pisces man, a water sign man keeping you stuck. Because in all reality, it's a lot of burdens. This Ten of Cups comes with a lot of burdens, Aries. Reconsider, Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> in all, you got more possibilities coming. You're going on a journey. Be patient. Okay? I want to see more of this person. Who is this person keeping Aries stuck? Could be a water sign or a Sagittarius. This could be somebody coming in. Who is this person? Yeah, they keep you stuck. Stuck in your head. Eight of Swords? They keep you stuck. Capricorn. Okay, you keep investing in this and it's not going anywhere. Seven of Pentacles, reconsider. Reconsider your investments. Reconsider who you are investing in. Reconsider where you're putting your time and attention. Because I don't see this going nowhere. Four of Swords. So maybe this is someone just giving you all types of false promises. This motherfucker doesn't do anything. And somehow they keep giving you some type of illusion or false hope that something is what it is and it ain't. It ain't what it is. It could be a Virgo. This person ghosts you. They're absent. You need to go within and really figure that out, Aries. 
Aries hasn't taken the time out to go within and really figure things out. your general love portion your general portion and your love portion now I want to see um, what spirit wants you to do or what spirit wants you to know we'll pull some romance angels and then um, end the reading with a couple other oracle cards okay show me what's going on in Aries love life please What's coming up for Aries in their love life? It's more where that came from. That's all I'm saying. You and me. Okay, we making arrangements. It's me and you when we making arrangements. Okay, is it hot in here? Is it just me? Soulmate. Okay, what you need to let go of so you can receive this soulmate. Or maybe there's a lesson that you need to learn with this soulmate. Remember what you are doing. Okay, when somebody comes into your life, it's for a reason. Okay, don't forget that reason. Learn the lesson if there is a lesson. Okay, what's next for you is a soulmate. Retreat. Okay, I got retreat in reverse. So I see that somebody who's been in and out or somebody who's been gone for a long time coming back as well. A soulmate is coming in, and someone who's been gone for a long time is coming in. Or this is the same person. All right. What is Aries learning? What is Aries learning right now to help them in this um, journey and help them with these adjacent possibilities? How can they be more patient? Okay, because y'all need to reconsider something. Something that's not healthy for you. Something that's really not as good as what you false claiming it to be. Ooh, that was fast. Friendship. You got to learn what friendship is. Some of these people are just meant to be friends. That's it. Some of these people ain't your fucking friend. Okay? What you're learning is you need to understand that a friend is in your life for a reason. I told you. Somebody's coming in your life for a reason. Don't forget the reason. I just said that. Y'all don't listen. Y'all need to learn how to listen. Friendship. Is what you're learning. And then it says relationships. Oh, I said that. I said that. Some of these people are your friends. Some of them not your friends. Some... Some people are supposed to be in relationships with. Some people are not supposed to be in relationships with. Okay? Look, you got to figure out the difference. Relationships. What you're understanding is that you attract those people who serve your higher good. Don't be receptive to receive anyone or anything that is not serving your highest good. Okay? We've been saying that this whole time. We've been saying that. We've been saying that at the bottom of the deck, what you're learning is how to deal with grief and you're understanding that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And that goes vice versa, this person or you. All right. Aries said, you wasn't shit until I made you so. I don't need you. Aries said, I've been through worse than you. But they can't keep running away. And Aries said, you know what? I don't need you, but I want you. Okay, Aries. You don't need this motherfucker. You don't need this motherfucker. Can you go in, please? Okay. Show me what's going on. This is your 18 plus portion. I'm going to pull some messages from my central universe deck. Then close the reading with an oracle card. All right. Show me Aries in this uh, person. I want to see the soulmate. Not this person or place or situation you're supposed to be letting go of. Not them. The new person. The new soulmate. 
the person you're supposed to learn something from. It could be the same person. Ain't no telling. You better act like you know. I will take that. You're the best I ever had. You're the best I ever had. Ari said you're the best I ever had. Hell no, I'm not leaving. What the fuck? Fuck a lesson. This is the best dick that I had in life. Okay. Ari <laughs> said this is the best food nani I don't ever had. What's a lesson? Ari, <laughs> it's a lesson. Something you're supposed to learn to make yourself better, wiser. <laughs> you're the best I ever had. 69. Okay. Ooh, somebody got a foot fetish and somebody loves to suck feet, suck toes, get foot massages. So the this person is the best you've ever had. Y'all do 69s and they love feet. It could be a Virgo. Y'all could be dealing with anybody, fuck. Y'all could be dealing with anybody. Virgo strongly. Cancer as well. Y'all could be dealing with anybody. Capricorn kept showing up. What else, please? So you getting some good sex. Y'all getting dick down. Okay, magical pussy. Now, this a bad bitch right here. This a bad bitch. Stone cold. Okay, if you fuck with her, you ain't gonna never want to stop. I want to be yours. I told you I want to be yours. Okay, look. What's the lesson? Okay. I don't know. How, I'm sorry. It says, you don't know how crazy I am about you. Remember that lesson. Friendships and relationships. You gotta learn. You gotta learn. You make me feel like a man. You make me feel like such a woman. You make me feel like such a man. I'm. So, you just make me feel like I'm the man. Like, or I'm, I'm the woman. I'm the baddest bitch in this man's eyes. Okay. You make me feel like such a man. You make me feel like such a woman. I love the faces you make in the mirror. So y'all are probably fucking in the mirror, in the bathroom. Okay. Pussy monster, cookie monster. Cookie good, cookie sweet. Okay. What else? I think about fucking you all the time. Yeah, I think about fucking you all the time. You're the best I ever had. What you thought? I'm always thinking about it. It ain't a day, a second, a minute that goes by where I'm not thinking about it. How would you feel if I told you I think I'm in love? So here we go. The sex makes someone crazy and they make someone think that they're in love. How would you feel, baby? How would you... Hey, look, I think I'm in love. This motherfucker broke me off so good. This gotta be love. This got to be love. And hey, don't tell me it ain't. I come fast when you throw it back. I'ma fuck you. What she say? I'ma fuck you real slow. I love how soft your skin feels. I'ma make you say my name. Baby, I am on the way. They said, now that I got you right here. Now that I got you right here, I'm not going to let you down. I got this motherfucker sprung off in the springtime. I want you and I need you. Okay? They said, don't be surprised, boy, when I bust it wide. I hypnotize you with this pussy. Looky, look. Okay, can I put the tip in? Okay, somebody feel like they can fly. I just cannot. You don't need no me time. That's you and me time. Okay, Virgo and Taurus came out. I do magic on you so you won't leave me. Oh my God, they doing that magic, that mirror magic, that sex magic. You're the best I've ever had. Yeah, I do magic on, I do magic on that pussy. I do magic on that dick, this Taurus or this Virgo. They want to put the tip in and they want you and they need you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I love how soft your skin feels and I come fast when you throw it back. All right. How would you feel if I told you I was in love? I think I'm in love with you and I think about fucking you all the time. I'm a pussy monster and a cookie monster. Okay. I love the faces you make in the mirror. And you don't know how crazy I am about you. All right? I want to be yours and nobody else's. Okay? You have a magical pussy. 
You make me feel like such a man and you make me feel like such a woman. I love your feet. I have a foot fetish. I love 69. Okay. Okay, that dick make my soul smile. That dick make me so proud. Okay, that dick make me proud. I'm a proud mother. Look. <laughs> Give me a message for Aries and we gonna get out of here. <laughs> All right. Give me a message for Aries for August to close this reading. Battle of the Blues, take steps toward positive change. Okay, you have to take these steps towards positive change. You're going on a journey towards positive change. Remember, you have um, adjacent possibilities. All right? From the beginning. You knew from the beginning that this motherfucker was your enemy. They are no friend of yours. Motherfucker. All right, you knew from the beginning, Aries. You motherfucking pray, don't you guys? Okay, Battle of the Blues, take steps toward positive change. When you have sad feelings of gloom and inadequacy, you need to recognize this as a temporary situation. Feelings of sadness and negative thoughts can immobilize you and can only, I'm sorry, Feelings of thought, feelings of sadness and negative thoughts can immobilize you and only you can change this. Perhaps it is a wake up call to get into action and make changes. Take small steps and keep moving every day to bring positive change and self empowerment. Exercise, study, socialize with like minded, like minded people, listen to music and talk about your feelings with trusted friends and family. Know that the magic of the universe and the angels are there to support and guide you. Gather your courage and rise to meet your challenges. The mantra is, I take small steps every day to make positive changes in my life for happiness and fulfillment. Aries, be patient with yourself. You're going on a journey, a journey of self-improvement, of self-love. And there's so many adjacent possibilities. So reconsider, reconsider those thoughts of, I'm going to, I'm stuck here. Reconsider that. You're not stuck. The four of pentacles with the devil said, you are holding on to these things so tight. Open up and let them go, Aries. Take positive steps forward. Only you can. And you can. I believe in you. You're strong enough. You're beautiful enough. You're smart enough. You, you are worth it, Aries. You're worth it. And I love you. Y'all be safe. Follow me on my social media. Book a personal reading with me. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. And y'all be safe. I love y'all. I really do. You're worth these positive steps forward. And sometimes it takes strength to let people go. Sometimes it takes strength to be get to yourself and do the work. Right? No one can do the work for you. But I send you encouragement right now, Aries. I love you. Bye-bye.